I want to talk about Acast. So Acast is a podcast host. So in today's conversation, you want to do a review, want to do a walkthrough. We want to look at the pros and cons, everything about Acast. So let me first give you a bird's eye view of uh, the platform slash software. So Acast calls itself the home of podcasting. So it is basically a hosting and uh, distribution platform that helps podcasters not only publish their content, but also monetize and grow the podcasting business. So you have a, an all-in-one platform. And this is really good. And we love the fact that the Acast is one of the most, uh, the world's best independent podcast companies. It has uh, a lot to, to actually offer all kinds of uh, podcasters, beginners, experienced, and everybody in between. And so when we think about Acast, think about, again, podcast hosting that allows you to publish, manage, and monetize your podcast. But most importantly, you, you we're talking about monetizing your podcast in various geographies, in multiple geographies. So if you're based in the States, ACAS can help, can really help you, uh, for instance, monetize your podcast in Europe, in Australia, in uh, South Africa, in all the uh, English speaking countries. As long as your podcast is, is in uh, the English language, right? You can create revenue with uh, dynamic ad insertion, podcast subscriptions, and listener donations. This is really uh, great. And uh, we love the fact that ACAS has a uh, pricing transparency. For us, this is really important. When we analyze uh, podcast hosts, especially their uh, pricing, we pay attention to those that are really transparent. So, ACAST is really transparent. I'll speak about pricing later on. And so when you think about ACAST, think about a great all-rounder that caters to podcasters at all stages of growth, okay? And uh, so you you are able to uh, create podcast subscriptions with different tiers. You have dynamic insertion ads. You have uh, ACAST memberships. That's, that's really great also. So ACAST memberships accept donations from your most dedicated listeners. And uh, so this is way beyond uh, monetizing your podcast and also connecting with global brands. So again, I want you to really pay attention to the fact that you're not just connecting with American brands. If you're in the States, you're connecting with the global brands. So this is kind of cool. So ACAS actually uh, was started about 10 years ago. So they started in 2014 in Sweden. So think of it as a hosting, distribution, and advertising platform that actually works with creators and advertisers in, in uh, tandem with, uh, within uh, their podcast advertising ecosystem. And uh, so basically 10 years is pretty recent, but in the last 10 years, they've done a lot. This is just fantastic. By the way, boss, welcome back to the show. It's really a pleasure to have you here. Make yourself comfortable. You are going to enjoy today's conversation. Let's talk about the features here. So when I think about features, when, it, when you analyze ACAST, the first one that comes to mind is ACAST Plus. And so ACAST Plus enables you to basically create content that is exclusive to a paying subscribers. It allows you to host and manage your private paywall content in the same location as your regular content. And so ACAST Plus works with uh, most podcast players, including uh, Google, Apple Podcasts, Spotify. And uh, so it, it's really important. And so which means that your listeners don't have to experience any disruption in their uh, experience in terms of uh, listening to you on a continuous basis so you are able to customize your subscription tiers to fit you and your listeners so you can offer your audience ad free streams early access and bonus bonus content while uh, setting up a predictable and steady income stream which you need anyway if you are going to survive in this space you want to have consistency of revenue but you also want to have scalability and another feature that we love with acast is uh their acast marketplace so uh, basically uh the platform connects advertisers with ACAST podcasters. You always have the final say when it comes to your your podcast. So this means you're able to choose exactly where ads play during the, your content, as well as the types of brands you do and do not want to work with. So there are no eligibility requirements to join uh, ACAST marketplace. That means that even fledgling uh, podcasters can venture into advertising as a way to enhance their earnings. And so when you think about ACAST, again, I think I've said this before, but uh, think of it as an all-in-one. It's really an all-rounder. So you are basically, uh, you are able to, like no matter how experienced or neophyte you are when it comes to podcasting, you will find something that works for you in uh, in ACAST, okay? So in terms of the first look at ACAST, the, the ACAST dashboard is clean and simple. When you log in, you will see all your shows and, fr and three tabs, shows, monetization, and insights. If you click into, if you click onto your show, you will see all your published episodes and you can toggle that's, uh, that 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 shows specific settings and so to get started very simple you you sign up you create a new show you add uh, your episode you upload your recording 
you'll fill out your episode information, including the title, season, and episode number, and you are you are good to go. Don't forget to uh, don't forget the cover art also, and you are good to go. So long story short, really, really, really straightforward. That's just fantastic. By the way, boss, I want to quickly re remind you of today's topic. We are having a conversation about ACAST. This is an ACAST. Uh, this is an ACAST podcast host review. Let me share with you the approach you need to really take if you want to uh, analyze ACAS and you, before you actually uh, sign up with ACAS, you got to think about a few things. Okay. And uh, the first thing you want to pay attention to is the pricing. So you want to look at uh, a range of pricing points to make sure that you are able to not only afford those uh, pricing right now, but also over the long run. So you got to also pay attention to value for money. So before you choose ACAS, think about that. Think about the value for money in terms of comparing how much they're charging you with the features that they are offering. And also pay attention to, to the uh, analytics. ACAST is, uh, I mean, they, their analytics is pretty decent. I think even more than decent when we analyze it. But the question is, is it decent for you? Is it actually adding value to you, okay? So you are, we're talking about uh, looking at insights into how your content is performing and driving the growth of your audience. So you wanna look at the, kind of, the kinds of data a platform such as ACAST gives its members as well as how easy these insights are to action on. Also, a media player, so you have that sort of capability within ACAST. So an embeddable uh, media player may feel like a, an, an unnecessary feature, but it actually allows uh, creators like you to share the podcast beyond uh, the major listening platforms on social media and their own website. So this is kind of cool. File hosting, this is an important element. Also distribution, another important element, monetization, and the usability and additional features. So. When it comes to uh, ACAS, you want to really see whether or not, I mean, we have done our research and ACAS is really great when it comes to uh, UX and UI. And you also want to confirm that. You want to make sure that you are pretty comfortable with uh, how to uh, to navigate uh, ACAS um, dashboards and uh, interface. Those are really important. And one thing I also want to say here is that distribution is kind of important in terms of uh, sharing your data on uh, major directories such as Spotify and also uh, Apple, uh, Apple podcast and also Google because you need to have that because uh, distribution will actually uh, kick off your monetization uh, experience among other things. Let's talk about uh, the pricing here. So as you can see on the screen here, here is a pricing for uh, Acast as of the date of this show. So you have a, a simple three uh, three tier sort of pricing so you have a starter an influencer and you have an ace so they're charging you like uh, ace they're charging you 30 bucks a month when billed annually or 40 bucks a month when uh, have when you have month to month billing so if you were to switch let's say from a from a, a yearly let's say a monthly to uh, an annually you are saving 25 percent. that's a lot of cash right there Okay, from uh, forty percent, from forty dollars to thirty dollars, that's a lot of cash, twenty-five percent. So that's for Ace. The Ace is the highest tier. You also have the influencer. Here you are. They are charging you fifteen bucks per month when build uh, yearly, or twenty-five dollars a month when you're having a monthly billing. So here again, we're talking about uh, twenty-five between twenty-five to thirty percent. Okay. I mean, my math is a little approximate here, but uh, basically, you know, going from 25 to 15, you are talking about $10, $10 off. That's really huge also. So this is really great. We love that a lot. And uh, one thing I want to say is not 25%, 20%, 20%, 20%, but it's still good anyway. And so, uh, and you, you have the free. So what I want to say here is that when, we, when you think about the starter, the free version, you have unlimited hosting and downloads of episodes, distribution to every podcast app and directory. You have a listener support, including paid subscriptions and donations, podcast website, custom web player. You have advanced the podcast analytics, and you have switch quickly. You have the ability to switch quickly and easily to ACAS from another host. What about the influencer? For the influencer here, you have uh, the startup plan plus you are able to make money through ads and sponsorships. You have automated integrations. You have headliner audio to a video tool, so the ATV tool, and you have a customizable podcast website. So this is really cool in order to help you uh, draw more attention to your brand. And also, and now you have the, the ACE. So you have all of uh, the uh, 
all of the above that the starter and the influencer features. Plus you have team and work and network management. You have transcriptions capability. You have advanced support. This is really cool. So overall, it really depends on your budget. If you are an experienced uh, podcaster, go with the ACE. If you are a somewhere in between, go with the, with, with the, uh, you want to go with a pro. So this is really what it is. I mean, it's called the influencer. You go with the influencer. By the way, boss, I want to quickly remind you of today's topic. We are having a conversation about Acast. This is a this is an Acast podcast host review. Speaking about review here, I want to quickly look at the advantages uh, of uh, the, the the advantages and the disadvantages of uh, Acast. Let's first talk about the advantages. So you have early distribution. So you are able to publish your podcast to major platforms such as uh, Apple Podcast, Amazon Music, Spotify, and YouTube as soon as possible. You also have easy social sharing. So you can easily share your content to your social media platforms and use ACAST integration with Headliner to create social ready short videos that are perfect for promoting. You have a media embed a player. So customizable uh, embeddable uh, player so that you can share your podcast on your website or on social media you can play around with the size color fonts as well as the number of uh, number and order of the episodes and listeners are able to toggle the playback speed and choose to share your content on their own socials if they want so this this level of flexibility is really cool we love that a lot you have a uh, an seo podcast website so seo compatible so with acast you will get a customizable podcast website that that is uh, automatically optimized for search engine discovery what you want that also if you again go talking about discoverability talking about organic search talking about seo having their website is really cool and you also have access to the acast creator network so you have more established creators networks or podcast publishers you can go into that network and benefit from a bespoke marketing assistance and growth support you have uh, unlimited uh, unlimited storage and uploads this is really cool you have 24 7 customer support so this is really fantastic because even if you run in trouble Incas offers 24 7 customer care and support in multiple languages you have monetization and you have uh, a transcription tool so this is really fantastic so long story short what, what we love about uh, ACAS is that that you have an, an all-rounder you have a, a constellation of tools and capabilities especially when it comes to pricing as you, as you saw earlier they are very very transparent we love that so they have a variety of uh, pricing tiers based at different budgets and types of creators so even the free plan comes with a powerful range of features that are great when they're a great starting point and if you're looking to monetize all you need to do is upgrade to the influencer plan for 15 bucks a month so this is really a decent So I talked to you about the uh, the advantages. Let's talk about the, the disadvantages of Acast. So right now, as of the date of this show, there are no video podcast uh, possibilities. So there are no possibilities of video podcasts. So unfortunately, Acast is not currently compatible with video podcasting. So if you're looking to expand into visual podcasts or have already done so, you may want to look elsewhere. And also you have uh, lossy file formats and uh, upload limits. So basically, uh, Acast only support MP3 and M4A files and has an internal limit of uh, 150 megabytes per upload. And there are no creation capabilities. So if you are a podcaster and you are right now listening to me and you are looking for a one-stop shop podcast creator and host, you will have to look elsewhere. Right now, Acast doesn't have that capability. The, the platform has a strong offering on all fronts, but it doesn't cater to the creation section of the podcasting journey as of yet. So it's this may change in the future. I mean, you probably, maybe you're watching this show one year from now or two years from now or 10 years from now for, for that matter. And uh, by then, it guys might be uh, changing a few things. And uh, so right now they are charging you per show. So it is possible to manage multiple shows from one account. However, you will be charged per show. So this could be a little problematic for uh, small creators. They have a... Uh, they have limited budgets and it's one of those things where we have, we have said this before the lack of uh, consistency in terms of uh, in terms of uh, like in terms of pricing can be a little problem i mean the process is clear the process is uh, clear it has a you have the pro i mean sorry you have the influencer the starter and then you have uh, the uh, the the uh, like the higher tier however 
you are going and the ace that's the name that i was looking for and you have the ace the, the starter the influencer and the ace but um if you're if you're charged per show your monthly price can really go up like big time like we're talking about 15 bucks a month but it can go all the way to 100 bucks a month depending on depending upon uh what kind of a production you have so it's all about making sure that the, that acast adapts to your operation Let's talk about the rivals here. So when you think about Acast, I mean, you have other podcast hosting platforms. So you have Anchor, for instance, you have SoundCloud, you have Podbean, and you have Buzzsprout, right? So let's quickly talk about that. So when you think about uh, Acast, let's talk about Acast versus Anchor. I mean, Anchor and uh, Acast are relatively uh, evenly matched. Both offer uh, unlimited storage and uploads, as well as monetization uh, features that are really strong. Perhaps in our view, the biggest difference is Anchor's creation suite. Anchor's, uh, Anchor takes podcasters all the way from creation to publication, whereas Acast only caters to hosting and distribution. In, ad in addition, Anchor's uh, platform is entirely free for all creators. What about Acast versus SoundCloud? Well, SoundCloud, as you know, is uh, great for musicians, and uh, Acast is really uh, better when it, com when it comes to uh, catering to the needs of podcasters. Okay, And SoundCloud might feel clunky or inefficient by comparison. And what about Podbean? Well, the biggest difference between uh, these two platforms is that Podbean offers podcasters the ability to create their podcast using their app. That being said, its creation capabilities are not that extensive and the interface might appear quite dated or clunky for some uh, users. And also, uh, what about uh, Buzzsprout? Well, uh, when comparing Buzzsprout and Acast, it can be difficult to ascertain the stronger of the two. The most significant difference, in our view, is the upload limits that Buzzsprout has on each of, the, of its uh, subscription tiers. And uh, from this perspective, in our view, again, ACAS offers uh, substantially more value for money. So what is our opinion here? So basically, is ACAS really worth it? Yes, definitely. Definitely worth it. And uh, is ACAS legit? Yes. The company was created 10 years ago, but it is uh, it has done a lot of great stuff in the last 10 years. And so think about ACAS as a solid all-rounder that really hits the mark. Whether you are at the beginning of your podcasting journey or already have an established uh, presence, ACAS has a subscription plan and features that will cater to your every need. ACAS most attractive offering is definitely its three-pronged monetization capabilities that allow creators to truly engage and leverage the value to truly engage with the audience and leverage the value of their content so the fact that the platform is, is so easy to use is just a great bonus in our view okay so think of you can think about acast in terms of uh helping in terms of having uh, a platform help you scale so scalability is really important and also uh, acast provides an area of stats metrics and analytics tools to track your show's success and find ways to improve its performance over time and uh, with so, with strong support for us for social media promotion, there are plenty of opportunities to engage with your audience and attract new listeners all the time. So this is just fantastic. Thank you so much for your attention. I really appreciate it. Let me quickly do a recap of today's conversation. So I was just giving you an Acast podcast host review. So I gave you a, a bird's eye view, and then I spoke about the features, the approach, the pricing, the review, the rivals, and our opinion. Thank you so much. God bless you. I'll see you another time. Until then, remember, stay marvelous.